So in the last video I showed you a quick example. Uh, we got a truth table uh, and uh, we got a simplified uh, expression out of tru truth table using Carnot map technique. And during this video I said lots of words and I uh, wanted to uh, sum up all the ideas so that will be that they will be clear because they sometimes uh, it looks like they're not clear even to me so as I said a billion times before first we usually have an expression which we want to simplify so it's not simplified And of course, the expression we're talking about is a Boolean expression. And as we did in the first videos that were about the truth tables, we, we transformed expressions into truth tables. This was useful for several reasons, but one of them is what we are doing right now. So, uh, uh, mostly you create truth tables in order to, afterwards, not mostly, I don't know, it depends, but very often uh, when you create, when you want to simplify an expression, you most likely create a truth table before performing Kernel map technique on it. So, then you uh, create a truth table out of this uh, not simplified expression. Uh, then afterwards, as we did in the last video, on, in the example, uh, we created uh, create a kernel map out of this truth table. So basically, we just uh, uh, trans it's it's not transformation of one truth table because uh, the concept is still the same. We just rewrite it, it uh, the truth table from the list notation into the map notation into two-dimensional notation. Basically, it's the same concepts, uh, the same uh, uh, concept. The thing that we use truth tables, the usual truth tables, is that uh, it's easy to put calculations inside the table when we have a line to fulfill. And in Kernel map, we, we usually have only one cell. So it's uh, uh, so we need to perform calculations somewhere else, but th that's uh, a minor thing. Uh, the point of what I'm doing is just I wanted to sum up what uh, we have done and what we plan to do, so that it will be clear. So then, uh, after you get a kernel map, you you perform uh, grouping. As you remember, last time we performed grouping, uh, and uh, so perform. And by this grouping technique, we got our simplified expression. Yes, it's. Uh, Yes, it was a Boolean expression, as all expressions we deal right now with. And so uh, we have uh, pretty much a lot of steps, and I described that before. I just wanted to sum up this. Uh, so if you have an expression that is not simplified, you usually turn it into truth table before uh, going through the further steps of simplification. Uh, if you have true truth tables, uh, if you have a truth table and you want to simplify it in to make out of it a simplified expression, you just start it from this point. And uh, I wanted also to show you another graph, how we did it uh, before the simplification. Remember in our first videos, we had also our uh, expression, which was not simplified. And uh, we performed some transformations mm -hmm. 
on this expression. And after that, we got our expression that was simplified. And I just wanted to note again the difference between this technique, the transformations that we perform on expression, and uh, this uh, long uh, technique that includes car truth tables, Carnot map, and uh, Carnot map grouping. As I said before, uh, we follow the we mostly we follow this long path because ah well uh, let's say uh, if we have a small expression. I would recommend you to go this far. I mean, just use transformations as we did earlier. If uh, the expression is uh, big enough, then you will uh, most likely to use uh, kernel maps as a technique for simplification. Or, for example, I would suggest that you can take, you can try uh, first when you have some kind of expression. Uh, uh, you can try to simplify it by hand, by just transformations of this expression. Uh, and if it doesn't work well, you can try to perform a Kernel map technique on that. Uh, but you should be aware of that uh, mostly you will not be able to know if uh, the expression you simplify by hand, such as by transformations of the expression, is the simplest, as I told before. A million times. So I wanted to, to point it out again and to show these steps, uh, actually to write down these steps uh, and I also would like to note uh, that we did already, we know uh, uh, a lot about transforming expressions into truth tables and we did that a lot so far. So we know this step. So this means that if you have expression to simplify, you already know how to turn the tr it into a truth table. If you have already truth table to simplify into expression, uh, then you apply Carnot technique, which is uh, basically this part is uh, is the Carnot map technique. First, you create Carnot map, which is you just rewrite the truth table in the way that Carnot map is written, and then you perform grouping. Both uh, in last video, it was uh, I didn't tell I didn't tell much about grouping and kernel map. It was just uh, one small example. But now I uh, would like uh, to, as I split now this process of simplification of expressions, I would also like to uh, to point out every step and uh, to practice on every step. Uh, and as I said before, we already practiced a lot and in this step when we turned uh, expressions into truth tables. So we know that, how to do that. Oh, we are pretty cool so far. And uh, after what I showed you how to, how to turn truth tables into Kernel Map, but that was very uh, simplified. And now uh, I will uh, explain you in details uh, how you get Kernel Maps and in details how you perform grouping. That was w w what was uh, lacking in the last video. Uh, and I will display it. I will explain it further. So, here we are. 